And then we did Zoot Suit, which was another great experience and working in the Hispanic community. And, um, you know, you know Zoot Suit was based around the Sleepy Lagoon murder. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, like 15 guys were brought to trial for the murder of this one um, fellow in Chavez Ravine, which is now Dodger Stadium. Right. Um, and it revolved around this young Jewish lawyer, woman lawyer, who felt that this was an atrocity for all these men to be corralled in. And they were Latino. Men. And they were all Latinos. Mm -hmm. And she went to battle for them, and she got them, I think it was three to five years, she got them out. And so... After they had been indicted. After they had been incarcerated, indicted. yeah. Right. And um, so I met with Luis Valdez, mm -hmm told him what I wanted to do, but I wanted to shoot his play. And I wanted to intercut the play with the real people mm. and intermix throughout the show. And he agreed. And it was it was a great experience. And it was a terrific documentary. What was the challenge for you of doing that intercutting? What um, was the biggest challenge? Um, picking up the storylines from the show, from mm. the play, to the, re the actual on-camera um, interviews with the real people, the real um, female lawyer and the real, um, there was a, another trial lawyer who was in San Diego, we got him. And then a lot of really great Hispanic people around. Mm -hmm. And then we talked about this zoot suit, the whole zoot suit um, phenomenon. Um, and Luis Valdez told this great story at the end of the show and I let the camera run for four, it's a four minute story. And he talked about, again, heart, sorry if I hit my mic. Um, he talked about being a kid in East LA and um, getting up in the morning and seeing his mother cook a burrito. And and the flavor and the smell of the burrito and it wrapped, you know, in this, in this, this great, uh, tortilla, and they didn't have any money, so they usually use C and H cane, uh, C and H um, sugar cane um, bags as lunch bags. And he'd take this burrito to lunch to to school, and it, you could feel the warmness of the burrito all throughout him walking to school. He said, by the time lunch came, you know, you'd look in your bag, and this wonderful thing had spots on it, and it turned brown, and it. It had gone cold, and he said, and we'd look across the lunch table, and all these white kids were eating these very precise sandwiches, and he said, it's then that we realize the difference between our nationalities, our cultures, and, and, and that was the barrier that he felt he had to cross all about a lunch bag and a burrito. And that was the end of the, of the documentary. Hmm. And, but it's stories like that that touch people, that bring them home to remember things that, that touch them in their lives. And that's what I like to do in documentaries. And um, I, I really enjoyed making documentaries. It was fun. It was, it was a great experience.